Hi friends, I am Dr. Nena Shirbhate from Vedavikas College Samudrapur. In this session we have discussed about the carbohydrate metabolism. Carbo you know that carbohydrates are the polyhydroxy aldehyde or ketones. It is a product of photosynthesis and it involves in major, it, these are the major sources of energy for living organism and it supply huge array of metabolic intermediates for biosynthetic uh, metabolic reactions. It is a structural element of cell membranes or in connective tissues. Glucose involved in various metabolic processes that is the aerobic oxidation, glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, pentose phosphate pathway, glycolysis, uronic acid pathway etc. Glucose can be classified into different types. First one that is the monosaccharides, it uh, contain only one sugar units. Disaccharides is contain two molecules of sugars. Oligosaccharides it contain three to ten monosaccharide units. Polysaccharides having the more than ten mo monosaccharide units or glucose units. And then it is structurally differ. Uh, structurally it categorized into the three types. Uh, first structure is the state chain or open structure. This is the open structure to see here. It containing the glucose uh, uh, molecules arranged in this way. Then then it is a cyclic structure to see uh, Fischer projection formula, glucose arranged in cyclical forms. And in this uh, uh, third form that is the boat chair forms, glucose arrange glucose molecule arranged like a boat then many monosaccharides units are physiologically important it involve in various metabolic pathways and the first that is the pentose is it containing the ribose ribulose or xylose sugar it involve in uh, various uh, um, pathways uh, during the glucose metabolism hexose is, that is the glucose galactose fructose mo molecules then seven carbon sugar that is the sedoheptylose seven phosphate involve in the intermediate of pent pentose phosphate pathway then uh, gluconate, uh, it, it is an inter intermediate in theroionic uh, acid pathway. Then other uh, molecules of glucose that is the, uh, that is the ribose sugar which is found in nucleic acid that is the DNA or RNA. It is a structural element of nucleic acid uh, example ATP, NAD, NADPH and various other forms. Then ribulose sugar found in the various metabolic pathway and uh, it is an intermediate of fentose phosphate pathway. Then Arab, D-arabinose so it is also a form of glucose or carbohydrate it found in the gum arabic palm and cherry gums it is a constituent of glycoprotein xylulose it is the uh, found in wood gums proteogycans and is constituents of glycoprotein then xylulose it is a in intermediate of uronic acid pathway and uronic acid pathway then d glucose found in the fruit juices, hydrolysis of starch, cane sugar, maltose, lactose, etc. And is important for form of sugar for the, our body. Then uh, and plants life, the sugar carried out by the blood, principal one used by the different plant tissues. Uh, fructose, this uh, glucose found in fruit juices, honey, hydrolysis of cane sugar, inulin. Uh, it can be changed uh, can be changed into glucose in the liver and also used uh, by the body then galactose it produced uh, by the hydrolysis of lactose then mannose is hydrolysis of plant manno mannans and uh, gums it is constituents of many glycoprotein now the starch and sucrose you know that the starch uh, it is the stored form of glucose or a stored form of carbohydrate and sucrose is the uh, use for the transport excessive amount of triose and monosaccharide phosphates are converted alternative forms in the light it liberate phosphate for the ATP synthesis uh, the differences between the starch biosynthesis and the um, sucrose biosynthesis starch is the storage form of carbohydrate and uh, sucrose is the transport form of carbohydrate uh, starch occur in the plastid and uh, sucrose occur in the cytoplasm <laughs> starch found in the ADP glucose substrate and for the sucrose uh, substrate is fructose 6 phosphate. 
स्टार्च इज द एड्स टू रिड्यूसिंग एंड एंड सुक्रोज जॉइंट्स टू द रिड्यूसिंग हाइड्रोक्जिल एंड स्टार्च इज फॉर्म थ्रू द अल्फा वन फोर ग्लूकोज अमाइलोज विथ वन फोर वन सिक्स ब्रांचेस अमाइलो पेक्टीन स्टार्च इज फॉर्म फॉर्म थ्रू द अमाइलोज और अमाइलो पेक्टीन एंड सुक्रोज ग्लूकोज इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू फ्रुक्टोज और इट रिवर्सिबली कन्वर्टेड इन टू द ग्लूकोज अल्फा वन फोर बीटा बीटा टू लिंकेजेस देन नेक्स्ट स्टार्च इज मेड ड्यूरिंग द फोटोसिंथेटिक एज वेल एज द नॉन फोटोसिंथेटिक सेल्स इन फोटोसिंथेटिक सेल्स प्रोड्यूस इन द ट्रांजिटरी स्टार स्टोरेज इन ग्रीन लिवस एंड नॉन फोटोसिंथेटिक स्टेल लॉन्ग टर्म स्टार स्टोरेज दैट इज द रूट ट्यूबर सीड्स एक्सेट्रा देन सुक्रोज इट इज अ नॉन रिड्यूसिंग डायसेकेराइड्स कंपोज ऑफ ग्लूकोज वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ ग्लूकोज एंड वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ फ्रुक्टोज लिंक्ड वी आर द एनमरिक कार्बन इट सिंथेसाइज इन द साइटोसॉल ऑफ द प्लांट सेल एंड इट इज सिंथेसाइज फ्रॉम यू डी पी ग्लूकोज एंड फ्रुक्टोज सिक्स फॉस्पेट द सोर्स इज ट्रांसलोकेटेड फ्रॉम इट्स साइड सिंथेसिस इन मैचुरल यूज इन वेरियस मेटाबोलिक टिश्यूज टू सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सुक्रोज हियर then uh, degradation of sucrose mostly occur in the cytoplasm it degraded by the degrading uh, degradating enzyme that is the sucrose synth uh, synthesis and inverted sucrose is converted into udp glucose and again due to the uh, both uh, forms of uh, uh, both enzymes are combined together and this sucrose is converted into the fructose one molecule of fructose and other molecule of glucose then later on this fructose and glucose is converted into fructose 6 phosphate and this fructose 6 phosphate utilized in the glycoly- uh, glycolytic pathway starch it is the non polar alpha d glucose occurs in two main forms that is the amylose and amylopectin in film it is synthesized in the chlo- stroma of chloroplast this is the structure of starch it contain in the amylose having the amylose having the uh, glucose uh, d glucose 14 alpha 14 linkages this is the linear chain of amylose and amylopectin is the branch chain having the alpha 16 linkage then next this is the pathway of sucrose and starch synthesis it synthesized during the photosynthetic process you know that carbon do- environmental carbon dioxide and water combined with each other and form the carbohydrate and this l- carbohydrate later on uh, combine with each other and form the 3 phosphoglycerate molecule inside the inside the chloroplast this 3 phosphate uh, phosphate glycerate molecule converted into the 13 bis phosphoglycerate with the help of enzyme 3 phosphoglycerate mutase then kinase then uh, this 13 bis phosphoglycerate molecule converted into the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate later on this glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate converted into the dihydroxyacetone phosphate then this dihydroxyacetone phosphate converted into the fructose 16 bis phosphate later on this fructose 16 bis phosphate converted into the fructose 6 phosphate then after this uh, Uh, and this fructose 6 phosphate stored in the starch uh, st- uh, in the form of starch in the chloroplast it is a stored form of sugar and then again this dihydroxyacetone phosphate is later on ir- irreversibly converted into dihydroxy dihydroxyacetone phosphate transferred into the cytosol and this dihydroxyacetone phosphate later on converted into glyceraldehyde and this glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate uh, involve uh, involve in the glycolytic process this dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate combine with each other and form the fructose 16 bis phosphate and this uh, fructose 16 bis phosphate convert into fructose 6 phosphate later on this fructose is converted into the sugar and this is the transport form of uh carbohydrate <coughs> these are the references used during this study and thank you very much